Just saw the trailer and I thought, oh, this is neat. I like the art style. Music is good. Sure. Let's play it. This game is developed by Pine Creek Games, uh, distributed by or published by Noodle Cake. Winterboro is a cozy woodland survival game about a mouse returning home to restore their childhood burrow. Explore, gather resources, craft, knit, uh, craft, knit warm sweaters. How often do you see that in the description of a survival game? Bake pies, that too, and meet the locals. I'm like, okay, sure. That's an interesting premise. Well, let's get into it. Get my cursor off the screen. All right, let's get narrator voice going. <laughs> yeah, it, I watched, I played enough just to go through the first few screens here, just to make sure it works with OBS. And it, it just seems very touching and heartfelt. But when you, when you have that set against a survival game, it's odd. And it's funny that you say Country Mouse, City Mouse, because that's part of it. So here we go. The burrow was mother's and father's dream home. A place where everybody could stay warm and safe. Aunt Betulina knew much more about wilderness survival than she ever got to teach me. It didn't last. The wilderness seemed to worry my parents. The promise of the sprawling city didn't disappoint, at first. The only jobs were in the mines, and they were hard on my parents. They almost earned enough for the tickets back home before they passed. I sold everything, packed my bag, and left for my true home. The old burrow, now barely recognizable. Why hasn't Aunt Betulina kept it in shape? At that point, I was like, this feels like the makings of a Disney movie. Parents dead. <laughs> right off the bat. And we have to find a way to survive in this. So first thing we have to do is improve fireplace. So we have, I'm assuming, energy, hunger, and warmth in the bottom left-hand corner. Warmth is dropping like a stone. Uh, okay. Okay. The home's old fireplace, its flame now extinguished by time. Looking at it, you hear the echoes of your parents' voices in your head. With a few twigs, you should be able to light it up and warm yourself a little. Required items, sticks of wood. Okay, oh, we don't have enough. Uh, oh, there's another one. So now let's improve it. Okay, so we've unlocked something. You've discovered something new. Visit the designated workstation, <clears throat> pardon me, to gain further insights. Oh. I'm guessing that's, <laughs> sorry, the way that mouse walks around, it's like it's stomping around like it's angry, like angrily pacing back and forth. Where's that pizza guy? <laughs> Start woodworking. Okay, so stone axe, attack damage is five, a rugged but dependable wood cleaver, the perfect fit for those who value function over aesthetics. We need one stick, is that a rock? And I don't know, hang on, oh, oh, good, good, good. So we can figure out what these are with the right analog. We have twigs, which should be no problem to find, pebbles, 
and grass. Okay. Um, let's track this. Let's, uh... Okay, so we have anything in here? Looks like we've got... Actually, let's just explore this first. So we've got this thing we can improve, which is a basement hatch. The entrance... The hatch protecting the entrance to the basement has been locked shut. Oh, so we're going to have, like, additional floors. Oops. Um, what's this? Storage? How big is that? Okay. Um, oh, wow, that's actually quite large. And our inventory stores 20 items, and we've got five on our belt. So, okay. And this is nothing. Stove, woodworking, and this must be to the upstairs. Stairs to the bedroom floor have been completely destroyed by time. Fixing them will unlock access to the first floor of the burrow. Wooden plank and amber wood. Mysterious wood source obtained in the Shadow Pines forest to the north can be used for making special tools and construction. In the gloomy forest, a woodworker needs to work silent and quick before the lurking creatures you... Wait. What? Before the lurking creatures you for lunch will pick oh is this am i supposed to be reading this like yoda oh yeah because this is supposed to be a rhyme duh in the gloomy forest a woodworker needs to work silent and quick before the lurking creatures you for lunch will pick i feel like we really had to stretch for that one but okay uh oh we can sleep all right let's explore outside we got some pebbles. Do these stack? Oh, good, they do. Okay. Grass. You got enough items to finish a tracked task. Ooh, it's handy that it tells you that. I appreciate that. Oh, there's a mailbox. Can we move any faster? So if we hold circle... Oh, but that's... What is that blue circle? Oh, that must be stamina. Okay, so we can go a little bit faster, and that uses our stamina. Let's get a bunch of wood here. And some pebbles. I like the music. What are these things? Hmm. I'm guessing I'm going to be able to, like, hack and slash through this. Oh, what's this building? Uh-oh. It's telling me I'm freezing. So, can't go too far when we're exploring. All right, so we can craft an axe. It takes a little bit of time. Okay. As the cold winter intensified, many woodworkers found it to be equally adept at felling trees and foes. Oh, okay, they're talking about the axe. All right. Mm hmm. Now to make a wooden plank, I need. Okay. Softwood. Softwood obtained from fallen down saplings used for making basic furniture due to its flexibility. The mice folk have been using softwood for their construction since the beginning of times. I'm guessing then. How do I actually use. What? Oh. That's something I can do. I don't know what this does. The left trigger is making that sound. Right trigger is letting me dash. Let's see if I... It, I may just have to go up to a piece of wood and then it'll give me the option. 
No. Oh, okay. I have to select it with the, the bumper keys on my controller. So. And there's a little health bar for the uh, for the tree. Okay. So from the fallen pieces of wood, I get soft wood, which I can turn into planks. Got to keep an eye on my uh, temperature gauge. Okay, that's good. Where's the house? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. So we can make some improved dusty armchair. Oh. Oh, I need more twigs. Okay. Oh, a place to knit. So that's where we get that's where we get into the nice warm sweaters. But I need twigs from this. I think that should be enough. But just for good measure. starting to get a little tired too. That's our blue meter, or green meter, sorry. There we go. All right, you've discovered something new. Visit the designated workstation to gain further insights. So, Oh, so the chair itself is a, uh, <laughs> is a workstation. Hmm. I need more grass. So I need 11 more grass to make six yarn to make one sweater. All right, but let's sleep first. You will refill your life force. Okay. All right. Where am I going to find grass? Can I cut this down? Nope. Okay. Oh, that's a, a bug. Hmm. Not seeing any grass on this side. Let's go in and warm up. mainly just been sitting to the uh, sticking to the south and the east let's go on the other side whoa that is a great big piece of wood What's this? Moss. And they're quite large. Hmm. I've, okay. 
Is that you, dear? Oh, sorry. I thought you were my partner, Pine Sap. They're out looking for the fine white fur of the snow hare. Pine Sap should be back any moment. That's why I got confused. <laughs> Have a nice day. Okay. Um. Well, we met a neighbor. Oh, wait, I warmed up. Oh. Oh, cool. So I can just rely on that. That's neat. Okay. I have a feeling that the reason I'm not seeing grass is because... I I think I need to have to I, I think I need to cut this stuff down but I don't think this is the right tool for it is there a map no that's a problem Something here I can use? No. So I have to just try my hardest to find grass. Okay. Let's go further out this way. It's funny, the first thing I found was a bundle of grass, and... Oh, that's a cliff. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. That is grass. I had no idea. Now I feel like an idiot. this can I do anything with this I don't even know what I picked up all right I think I've got enough let's make ourselves a nice warm sweater actually what are those those mushrooms chanterelle piece yeah hunger recovery minimal well, it's better than nothing. So I've got everything around me that I need to sustain myself. What is this? Wood. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's not the right way. Although I did see another person there, so we'll have somebody to meet and talk to. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be enough to make myself a nice woolen sweater out of grass. Dash force minus 10, cold resistance medium sweater knitted from grass fiber yarn. Help keep you warm, but are not the most comfortable thing to wear. Oh, and trousers. Inventory's full. What? Oh, okay. So the white spaces are my actual inventory. The black or the, the gray are areas I have to, things I need to unlock. So let's put twigs, um, pebbles, soft wood, and twigs. Oh, more twigs. Oh, they only, you only keep them in stacks of 10. So, oh boy, inventory management's gonna be, gonna be an issue. Use 
you discovered something new. Visit the ah, words are hard. Visit the designated workstation to gain further insights. What? Oh, quality wo woolen sweater. So for this, I need fur. So this is just an upgrade of the existing sweater. So I would take quality woolen sweater, find some fur, turn it into yarn, and then upgrade it, which would give me very high cold resistance. Okay. But in the meantime, um, oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Let's, let's get some more grass. If those bugs are friendly. They're not attacking, so. Hmm. I'm wondering, because I have a quest now to find Auntie, and I'm wondering if she was the one that's over to the east. Sell some trousers. And then we can make quality trousers. So, do I have to equip these? I guess I do. Because these are sitting on my belt right now. Oh. There we go. A fine vest and simple shorts. Let's put those in the inventory. Don't know if we'll ever need them. There we go. Don't we look dapper? Oh, we can fix our stove. Rusty stove with a broken pipe. You could cook here if you fix it. Yeah, let's repair it. And the neat thing is, I didn't actually have this, the pebbles in my inventory. They were in the storage. So I don't. you don't need to have them directly in your inventory. Roasted mushrooms. Hunger recovery normal. It's better than eating them raw, I guess. Yeah, sure. Let's just make them all. Because we are starting to get a little bit hungry. Pedlar. Greet. Oh, hang on a second. His name's Pedlar, and he's a peddler. That's a little on the nose, game. <laughs> Greetings, friend. Quillen's the name. Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Hang on a second. I'm so confused. His title says Pedlar, but he's a peddler by trade, and his name is Quillen? I'm confused. Quillen's the name, peddler by trade. I haven't seen someone around here for long. The smoke gave you away. It'd be nice to see that old place brought back to life. I pass by this corner of the Northlands every second day, just so you know. I trade with the locals. Many wouldn't make it through the harsh winter if it wasn't for me. Oh, the stories I could tell you. But they'll have to wait. Come have a look at my wares. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay. What's he got? Chanterelle spores. 
portobello, and shimeji. So, mushrooms. Mushroom spores. And I can sell him some stuff. Okay. Good to know. Can I warm up here? Or no. Okay. That's fine. What's this glowing thing? Oh, I'm guessing I need to fix this bridge. A fallen bridge stands in front of you, clearly battered by time. It doesn't seem like you will be able to cross it until you repair it. I wouldn't want to cross it until it's repaired. So we need rope. Rope made of grass fiber. Can be made at a workbench. Yeah, let's track this. Let's see if I can... Oh, I can hurt these things. Oh, they're just one shot. What's that? What did I pick up from it? Beetle meat. Fatty and delicious. For some mice. Okay, it's another food source. Matt does not look as friendly. Oh. So that attacked me on sight. The other beetles didn't. Oh. Hang on a second. Before I go back there... I need to warm up. Let's, uh... Let's go here. Wait. There we go. I saw a downed mouse, though. grave marker. What's this? A baited backpack. Twigs. That's... That's kind of sad. Although I'm glad he, he did the right thing and, and buried it. You know, for for a game where you control, where you play as a mouse, the story is is a little um, grounded. Like your parents die, like in the in the prologue, and you're just trying to tr kind of traveling around, and you see a, a dead comrade. And you give them a little burial. It's like, whoa. Okay. But there is something compelling about this. The music is... Music is great. I love it. Gameplay is kind of fun. And you can't really make too much progress too quickly because you're fighting the environment constantly. But that's not a complaint. That's just how I'm guessing the gameplay loop is supposed to work. So, what did we need? Oh, what were we going to build? 
No, it wasn't here. Oh no, for the bridge. That's right. I needed wood and I needed rope, but I don't know how much of each. Yeah. I only got three planks I can make. Let's make it all. Screw it. It is getting a little late. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, wow. Look at how quickly. Look at how quickly my temperature gauge is dropping. I'm guessing the different stages of music that you hear telling you like it's different times of day. So when you hear this, this is telling you, get that, get your ass home or you're going to freeze very quickly. So message received game message received. Let's rest until morning. All right. <laughs> yeah i actually I'm, I'm a huge fan of that i'm so glad i found that it's just commercial free music and like i actually spend a lot of time listening to commercial free music just because i like using it for streams or, or whatnot i used to i used to listen to the free music archive a long time ago but it's hard to find like because i i'm a big fan of jazz music and it's hard to find like the right kind of it's hard to find big band that's oh, okay it's hard to find good um commercial free royalty free um big band music and i think public domain stuff has to be Older than 1927 or something like that. Something insane. Oh, shoot. I wonder if I can cook this be uh, beetle meat. Oh, no. That's... Sorry, the music isn't based on the music isn't based on the time of day so much. I don't I don't think because as soon as you go a little bit east, it starts with that little bit more more upbeat tune. So are you gonna let me cook the meat? Beetle skewer, sweet. Oh wait, I didn't actually. Oh, damn it. Um, let's put away the twigs. And I don't actually need that in my inventory. All right. So let's craft the wall of them. Okay, good enough. I don't like how low my energy is, but... Can fix that later. All right, so we've got enough now to build that bridge. Yeah. Yeah, the music's already changed. Okay. Yeah, so when you when you have enough of an item, or sorry, when you have enough for a quest that you've got, it'll tell you. So I had a little bubble that said, okay, you've got everything you need for one of your quests. So let's repair it. 
Alright, let's see what's on the other side. Hmm. Oh, it's Auntie. Could... Could that really be you? I hardly recognized you, nephew. Towering the pebbles and pine cones. I still remember the day you all left. I'm glad she's alive. I was worried that, like, you'd find her in the upstairs of the burrow dead. The way that this game is going so far. <laughs> I tried to persuade your parents to stay, but... But they were right to leave. Now, come inside for a cup of tea and tell me all about the city. What is it like? Well, at least it's warm inside. Oh, I guess we're done. <laughs> that was quick tea. It was great to see you again after all this time. I tried to keep the burrow, but as the years went by, I lost hope. I'm sorry that it looks like it does. Oh, it's okay. I locked up the basement. Some ox beetles kept nesting there. Here's the key. Now hurry home before it gets dark. Thanks, Auntie. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that uh, to be done. It's some, Sometimes I just get so into the game that I'm playing, I forget it's a demo. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that game. That was a lot of fun. I only found out about this, like, yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs>